hello friends welcome back to mvc tutorial and in previous session we have looked difference on view back view data temp data and sessions and we have seen that in temp data we can transfer our information from controller to controller from action to action and from action to view but we cannot store our uh, value uh, at the time of re uh, <coughs> uh, if we are changing our session or if we are closing our browser so but that was half truth we have uh, two methods keep and peek uh, which help us to preserve our value in temp data so temp data helps to preserve value for a single request and can also preserve value for the next request depending on four conditions so let's see what these four conditions are condition one if you set a temp data inside your action and if you do not read it in your view then temp data will be persisted for the next request so let's uh, check it uh, in visual studio <coughs> uh, so let's create uh, one controller so empty and let's name it temp and let's create method one and method two and let's add view method one empty same method two <coughs> and let's create temp data and of method one ten data Yes, one and same we capture in method two, but here we will try to update it and let's do it like. this is of temp2 data and let's capture our value in temp1 i mean view1 and let's do it like at the rate temp1 and let's from view earlier earlier in earlier session we are moving or redirecting to method 2 from method 1 by uh, the method redirect but let's move from uh, from view also so we we have a uh, html helpers in mvc we will talk about it later but uh, let's see it is like uh, um, <coughs> HTML helpers where we have to write very less at our end and all the part will be done internally by MVC so here we have uh, 
see here we have some options so it's saying listing action and listing name so we can provide it like if we want to move to method to and here we can give some string so move to method So here what we are saying if you set a temper inside your action and if you do not repeat it in your view then temp data will proceed for the next request and condition 2 if you read the temp data normally like the below code it will not proceed for the next request so <coughs> in method 1 uh, in view 1 we are re reading our value of temp 1 so that should not be available to method 2 according to condition second if you read the temp data normally like the below code it will not proceed for the next request so here we are reading data in view so let's check it so debug start without debugging mm -hmm. Error. Thing. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, temp and method one. Okay. This is a method of one temp data and let's move to method 2 so in method 2 we are not getting any sorry because we have not added any data in our view 2 so let's see here, here we don't need this and in method 2 let's call our temp data yeah okay will it okay and method one okay so we are reading um, temp one data and let's move to method 2 see this is of method 2 temp data so here we were calculating the string of m1 and uh, m2 sorry of the method 1 and method 2 but we are not getting um, temp data of method 1 because we have read it in view 1 let's close other files ok we have read it in method sorry So, if we don't read the data in our view 1, then see what happened. Let's build it and run it over method 1. 
so we are not reading any value in method one so we got link to move to method two and if we click it so here let's see this is a method one time data and this is method two time data it means if we are not reading value of time data then it value it persist and available to other methods so same thing condition one if you set a time data inside your action and if you do not read it in your view then time data will be persisted for the next request so we have seen it and we have seen second condition also so let's move to third condition condition three where we can use keep method so that our value persist for future use so let's see how keep works so in method 1 we will read our uh, our then uh, data end and we use keep method so let's we build it it means we are reading also and then also we will able to persist our value of temp one data so let's see it we are running method one we are reading value and let's move to method two see still we are able to extract method one time data value and method two time data value so third condition also satisfy and fourth condition here instead of using keep we are using peak method so let's see how peak works keep data and see keep our peak so here we are doing type casting and here we are extracting the value and then we are moving to method 2 so let's check it move to method 1 and it again see we are get reading method one value and then moving to method two and in method two also we are able to extract temp data of method one so fourth condition is also true if you read temp data by using the peak method it will persist for the next request so we have seen with the help of temp, temp data also we are able to maintain our value same like session is maintaining value between different transfer of the methods or session thanks for watching my videos hope you are liking it if you need or more info or if you have some suggestion then they are always welcome so let's move to our next video thank you for watching my videos bye